The country stood to watch the remains of the late laureate Wangari Muta Madai be given its final send-off via cremation as according to her final wishes. Curious Kenyans gathered around the walls of the crematorium to at least catch a glimpse of the ongoing events. Cremation is commonly known as a Hindu tradition, where the Hindus cremate their dead and the burning of the body signifies the release of the spirit. The flames themselves are important as they present the presence of the creator. Madai's state funeral is the third in the country, and unlike Mzejo Mukenyata's and the 8th Vice President Kijana Wamalwa's funerals that were open to the public, the family of the late Professor Madai had requested for a private function, with no viewing of the body by the public. And so it was. All local media houses were locked out except for foreign journalists. In fulfillment to her wishes not to be buried in a wooden coffin that was draped in the Kenyan flag, Wangari's coffin was specifically made out of water, hyrath, and papyrus reeds. Professor Wangari Mutemadai died at the Nairobi Hospital after a long battle with ovarian cancer at the age of 71. As the events of the day come to an end, the family, the country, and the world bid farewell to the late Nobel laureate Wangari Mutemadai. Angela Kibwe reporting for KBC Channel One. Wananchi wengi walichitokeza kushuhudia mwili wa marehemu Wangari Maadhai ukitomo katika tanu ya karioko kwa mbatana na matako yake mwenyewe. Wakenya waliokuwa na hamu kushuhudia shughuli hiyo walijitokeza kwa wingi angalau kujionea yaliyokuwa yakiendelea. Uchomaji wa mwili wa wafu ni tamaduni inayohusishwa na jamii ya Wahindi. Aidha kwa mujibu wa tamaduni hiyo miale ya moto unaotumika kwenye tanu ya kuchoma maiti washiria uwepo wa mumbaji. Mazishi hayo ya kitaifa ya marehemu Wangare Madhai ndio ya tatu kuwahi kufanyika hapa nchini lakini kinyume na mazishi ya rais wa kwanza wa nchi hii mzee Jomo Kenyatta na makamu wa rais wa nane kijana wa Malwa familia ya Wangare ilitaka mazishi hayo yahudhuriwe na familia na jamaa wa karibu pekee bila kutazama mwili wa marehemu Na hivyo ndivyo ilivyokuwa kwani hata waandishi wa habari wa panchini walizuiwa kukaribia eneo hilo. Profesa Wangare Madai alifariki katika hospitali ya Nairobi akiwa na umri wa miaka sabina moja baada ya kugua ugonjwa wa saratani ya kizazi kwa muda mrefu. As Kenya and the rest of the world bid goodbye to the Nobel laureate Professor Wangari Madai in honor alavo tuanse kupanda miti Trees are being planted in several parts of the country in honor of her love for the environment. The mayor of Mombasa, together with other private companies, joined hands to plant trees along the Jaffa Sports Center Road in what they also called the Coast Image Group to save the environment. Speaking during the tree planting event, Mombasa Mayor Ahmed Modar challenged Kenyans to continue with Professor Madai's legacy for the love of the environment for the sake of future generations. <laughs> tumeweza kurudisha Kenya hadhi ile ilikuwa iko ya green wangari mathai ameenda Echoing the same message was the assistant minister for fisheries development honorable abu chiaba ni matarajio yetu ya kwamba yule ambaye mwenzetu ametuacha ambaye amewacha legacy dunia mzima imetambua na hivi sasa ni wajibu wetu sisi kutambua hata kama yeye ameenda the spirit should be there still in mombasa Three primary schools, Makande, Tudor and Makupa Primary, planted trees at Makande Primary School compound to mark this important day. In Meru, all the heads of department planted 71 indigenous trees at Maua Polytechnic ground in their tribute to conservation heroine who passed on at the age of 71. Huku Kenya na ulimwengu kwa jumla ukimpa mkono wa buriani mshindi wa tuza Nobel, Professor Wangari Madai, in honor alavo tuanse kupanda miti miti inaendelea kupandwa katika maeneo mbalimbali hapa nchini kama kumbukumbu kwa juhudi zake za uhifadhi wa mazingira mea wa jiji la Mombasa pamoja na kampuni mbalimbali za kibinafsi waliungana kupanda miti katika barabara ya Jeffa Sports Center kuchangia uhifadhi wa mazingira 
akiongea wakati wa hafla hiyo Mea wa Mombasa Ahmed Mohdar alitoa changamoto kwa Kenya kuendeleza sifa ya madhai ya kuenzi mazingira kwa minajili ya vizazi vijavyo Tie tuhakikishe tumelinda mazingira yetu tumeweza kurudisha Kenya hadhi ile ilikuwa iko ya green Wangari Mathai ameenda Waziri msaidizi katika Wizara ya Uvuvi Abu Chaba aliunga mkono juhudi hizo ni matarajio yetu ya kwamba yule ambaye mwenzetu ametuacha ambaye amewacha legacy dunia mzima imetambua. Na hivi sasa ni wajibu wetu sisi kutambua hata kama yeye ameenda. The spirit should be there. Tukisalia katika maeneo ya Mombasa shule tatu za msingi ambazo ni Makande, Chuda na Makupa zilipanda miti katika shule ya Makande kumkumbuka mwenda zake. Katika maeneo ya Meru wakuu wa idara mbalimbali za serikali walipanda miche sabina moja za miti ya kiasili katika chuo cha Anwai cha Maua kumkumbuka shujaa huyo wa uhifadhi wa mazingira aliyefariki akiwa na umri wa miaka na moja. Kenyans gathered at the Uhuru Park's Freedom Corner for prayer to pay their last tribute to the late Professor Wangari Mathai whose body would later be cremated at Kariuko Crematorium according to her wishes. And while that was going on, <laughs> in honor, business came to a standstill in Meru County when all the heads of department came together to plant 71 indigenous trees as a sign of their condolences at the Maua Polytechnic ground in honor of Professor Wangari. Led by their area member of parliament, Mithika Linturi, the leaders called on the Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources and the Ministry of Forestry and Wildlife to take up Wangari's mission to increase the area and a forest cover in Kenya, saying that her passing on should not allow a vacuum to obliterate Shamba's system and start logging.